players now come from South America more and yeah. more and more. Yeah. yeah, we started making our kids play t-ball. You know what that is? Easy baseball. Mm -hmm. The old days, Joe DiMaggio, you know what they played? Stickball. Mm -hmm. Corkball. Yeah, that's hard. Stickball. They'd hit bottle tops with a broomstick handle and all this stuff. You know how hard that is? Then you give Joe DiMaggio a baseball bat and he thinks he's hitting a pumpkin. Yeah, because yeah, it was hard. Yeah. Yeah, the only way to make the game tougher is to practice easy. That's all you have to do. Make it easy and it'll get harder. <laughs> Top of the backswing. Here we go, Mary. Arms are coming fast. Right side's in the way right here. Hands break, arms pull hips through. There they go. But you look good. No. <laughs> Heading up to the top. So you get out of the posture. Yeah, when you stay in the posture, you won't be able to do it like that. No, because my hip hurts when you put me in that posture. Now the arms are going to pull her hips through. Now the hips will turn. There they go. Right there would be good if you're about to hit it. Yeah, everybody does the same thing. Is anybody here today from Canada? Oh, just Wendy. Oops. <laughs> we never had this problem down here till you guys started showing up. No, no, no. <laughs> here we go. How about the feet? <laughs> Very narrow. Right arm will crash right side. The hands are going to break. There they go. Now the arms are going to drag the hips through. Now they go. No, no one ever does it. I was right. going to say, is every class like this? Yeah, they're all the same. Are we all going to you still want to have your shoulders inside? The Sam's question is, are we going to leave the, the width of the feet the same for all clubs? If you start getting narrower with a shorter iron, like a nine iron or something, fine, but you better be careful. If you start getting narrow, you start very likely to start to sway. Yeah. Okay, so be careful. You don't have to. The only time you need your feet narrow is if you hit a little <laughs> mid shot or a little chip shot where you're not firing the lower body, but you're going to lose distance if you get narrow with the feet. So you don't have to. I wouldn't. I always thought that was because it's yeah. one of Full baseball. swing, full swing. Okay? Eight, seven iron, driver, you know. <laughs> Start, if you want to get a little narrower, go ahead, but I wouldn't do too much, very little. Here we go, Tom. Heading up to the top. Top of the back swing. He's in the posture here a little bit, not enough. The head will lift right now. You see him coming out of the posture while he's swinging. And now the arms are going to pull the hips through. Right there is good if he's about to hit it. Yeah, everybody does this one. Yeah. Every class. I've only had one, really, in the last seven years, and he was out of the village. At the time, he was 84 years old. Yeah, he had his yellow card. You know, his last round of golf was 77 at the age of 84. Wow. How many times have you shot your age? He said, well, I've done it more than 900 times. They used to have his name. I don't know. I, I haven't looked at the paper, but he used to be in the paper. Because <coughs> they used to, I don't know if they still do it. He should have raised it. Or, or hole in ones and all that, that they put your name stuff. Okay. I project to get a whole deal when I'm 130. <laughs> 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 yeah, you don't know, but you know what this is? <laughs> 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 He said the older I get, the easier it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every year it gets easier to shoot my age. I have more rounds of my age are better. Here we go. Heading to the top. Oh, that was a warm up. I just walked in. Here we go. Heading to the top. Here we go, Charlie. Arms went first. Gonna crash right there. Hands are breaking. Now watch your arms drag your hips through. Now the hips. Yeah. 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 It's the same quiz, same mistakes. Same answer. 
Yeah, same answers. Yeah, if we grade the quiz like it's like it's teacher grading the test, that's what we're doing. Yeah, go ahead. Phil. So if we just stay in the posture, that should correct no, that. Um, no, when you stay in the posture, you doesn't make you a leg player. It allows you to become one. Okay. It allows you to start to learn the movements. What I think I'm trying to get across to you, first of all, is if you haven't learned the posture yet, we're going to start over with fundamentals. It's okay to do that. How could anybody learn the movements correctly if you're not in the posture? So just because you learn the posture doesn't mean you're going to be a leg player. It just means you're going to be in the posture. Then you can learn the movements. But everything has priorities, yeah. It's okay to start over. Heading up to the top of the back. Tell me when the feet, knees, and hips look like the picture there. Right there, oh. sort of, if you're about there. Yeah. Now, once in a while, I think everybody's in pretty good shape today, but you know, once in a while, what can get in the way of someone's progress, I'll take that picture from you, Charlie. It's especially for men, pride and ego, but I think all the guys are pretty good today. Something didn't happen. It happens, it happened yesterday. You know, when we're doing the posture, often, there's a gentleman in class, he starts doing the posture, now all of a sudden he doesn't like this. I get called off into the corner, uh, Steve, I need to have a word with you, please. <laughs> yes, can I help you? Yeah, look, that's not, I'm not interested in changing my swing right now, I just want you to work with the one I got. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a magician doing magic tricks, wait till you see yourself on TV, then you're gonna change your mind, you don't wanna change because if nothing changes, nothing changes and that's it, you know? The first class you had the other day, I'm gonna have a class like that tomorrow here at noon. And this is kind of a weekly event. A gentleman is gonna arrive. The class is at noon, but one guy's gonna show up around 10 o'clock in the morning. I'll be in here with a pair of blue jeans and a t-shirt, setting up chairs and lugging tables and working, and he'll stick his head through the door and yell at me, hey, you over there, the guy with the t-shirt setting up chairs. <laughs> yes, can I help you? Uh, yeah, uh, I'd like to speak to somebody that might know something about that uh, golf program they're having around here. Well, I know something about the golf program. Wait a minute, are you coming? <laughs> I don't know if I'm coming to this. I read this in the newspaper. I might come maybe. I doubt it. I got a lot of questions that need to be handled first. Well, you got a lot of questions? Uh, this class is 14 bucks. Let's take it easy on that list of questions you got. Well, I want to know if this is for beginners. Because if this is for beginners, I am not attending. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's for beginners or not. Let me ask you, how long have you been playing golf? I've been playing this game now for 30 years, okay? I've attended three of the finest golf schools in America. They were no 14 bucks. I go belong to Arnold Palmer Country Club over here, and I got the new Callaways. You want to see them? <laughs> well, what kind of scores are we shooting after 30 years, three golf schools, Arnold Palmer Country Club, and a new Callaway? My scores? This is tomorrow, and he's playing right now. My scores vary. Normally, I shoot mid to upper 80s, usually. Do you know what that means? <laughs> he broke 90 once in the last two years, and you know what he's forgetting about the one day that he broke 90? He cheated. <laughs> he did a mulligan, another one, didn't put him in the hole all the time, asked his friend to give me a six. <laughs> I sent a newsletter out on who cheats in golf. Did you get it, some of you? Do any of the ladies belong to a women's group? Do you play with the women's group? The women don't cheat. Fellas, do you want to have a bad day? Play golf with three women in a rule book. <laughs> oh yeah, the men are very lenient. Three and a half foot putt. Take it out. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. You yeah. know why the friend gives his friend a three and a half foot putt? So the friend will reciprocate on the next hole. Now the women are a little ridiculous in the other direction. 
the women, your ball is on the lip of the cup. <laughs> you think that's a gimme? Mark it. 